Hi everyone, it's Designer Lily. I'm back today to review another website, and this time it is the Request Zara. So Zara is a fast fashion company, I believe, based in Spain, and they often take a lot of inspiration, if you know what I'm saying, from the runways of fashion houses. So, for example, if a fashion house like Gucci released a piece of clothing for a runway season, oftentimes you'll find something similar in Zara for a significantly cheaper price. But that is very obviously inspired from that fashion piece. So that is one of the reasons why they found their product market fit. And first impression as a product designer is that they have very large images on their site with very small text. And the way they have designed this is to have this editorial fashion magazine look. They are designing the website in a way where it's very common in marketing agencies and. Website agencies that specialize in brand design to do this style, where photos are huge, and the text is very contrasted with photos, often smaller or like really big bold text and then really small text. But functionally, when you're using the website on the phone or computer, it's a pain in the butt because you have to scroll a lot to get somewhere, and the links are small because the text is small. So even looking at this page. All the links are the same exact size, even in the hamburger menu, and you can't even tell if anything's linked unless you hover your mouse over it. So on the phone, I can imagine this is a more frustrating experience because on the phone there is not a pointer that turns into a hand to indicate it's a link. And again, this is to reinforce that minimalistic, high-end fashion magazine look. But I think they could have done such a better job. For example, here they could have categorized their links with something like top, bottom, or By style or by what's recent, and then the classic navigation items like pants, coats, whatever. But instead, they just decided to list all the links out together. What's really frustrating about this is that as a user, you're expected to just do the work and find whatever you're looking for. I remember when I was trying to browse to Zara the first time, I was trying to just look at. Close, and it took me like one or two minutes before I could even find something that I like because it takes time to read through all the links and navigate through everything to get what you're looking for. If you look at something like Lululemon, they have everything laid out very clearly, but still have a balance of colors and sophistication that balances functionality and aesthetics. If I look at Zara's website, I have a high suspicion that the marketing team basically runs the game, and they are the ones who. Own the website or have the most say as the stakeholder for the website. Looking at this, I think that there could be a chance maybe they're working with an outside agency and then they have some designers or developers in house. You know, a few just like fix bugs here and here, but they're not the ones designing this from scratch and they're not treating the website as a product that could be optimized to convert for sales. They're really relying on the marketing team, the images, the visuals, the emotion you feel when you see the photos to convert customers. They're not really re relying on a great user experience here. So when I click on something like coats, the first thing I see is a large photo of a coat, and then I see text describing a coat or the coats that they're selling, and then more photos. But the whole time I'm just Just like when can I get to an item I can buy already, and then I realize, oh, this is something I can buy. So they purposely make it hard to tell that it's something for sale. It looks like again a fashion catalog, but the problem here is you have to do like five scrolls to even get to like ten items. I mean that's ridiculous because you know with Google results you do one scroll and you already get to like the bottom of the page. So this website definitely is not for those who have a slow internet connection or for those who want to like just go in and out and get something quick because it's gonna have you just spending a lot of time navigating. I mean hey something like this I love this light blue coat but again it's not tailored towards a shopping experience because when I'm looking at this it's like so much work for me to read this small tiny text and I have to come here. Switch over and then read this body text, which describes what it is. Because it's on each side of the photo, it really goes against the natural way people read, which is skimming and again, most commonly the F pattern. And even the price itself is really hard to see because there's no bold in text or any like labels. You're just kind of like skimming through all the text, like oh, there it is, the price. 
there's not even a dollar sign. Of course this is intentional because for aesthetics, but shopping experience wise, not great. And then I just realized this was selecting size. It's kind of like one of those things where you don't know it's a link and you're looking for the link and you have to put your mouse over it and then like see if you can click on it, then you realize it's a link. Now they're asking me if I want assistance, which may be really common for this site because I can imagine a lot of people who are not super tech savvy or those who are tech savvy hate navigating this site and probably just ask customer service to help them find something or ask customer service for how do you get the size of this item and then they have to tell them how to find the size selector. So I'm adding this to my cart and I have a standard cart here but the way the text is put is still really awkward. I don't really know why they decided to put the text like this. I mean this doesn't look aesthetic or functional. And going back to the main page, it's interesting that for such a prime real estate, which is this screen since it's the very first screen of the very first page, the landing page, there isn't more to see. You just see new sale and then you have this like yellowish dress, which I'm not even a fan of that color. To be frank, I wouldn't buy that. It seems like such a waste because you could be converting customers, but instead you're using it to, again, promote this editorial look. If I was a first time user and I wanted a site, I would maybe even assume this is just a catalog of things that Zara has and you have to go into the store to buy it. Because as I'm skimming, this all looks like a blog article to me. I'm not a fan of the yellow, I'm not a fan of the green, and I particularly don't like the magenta color. I think it's very risky to put that first screen of the first page on something that a lot of people probably aren't a fan of. I mean, those colors are like sickly colors, you know what I mean? Except the magenta, but the yellowish and the green, I mean, a lot of people are not a huge fan of those colors, so I'm surprised that they're using it for such a prime real estate here. And I also just noticed you can swipe for men's and kids, but there doesn't really seem to be an explanation why kids has these categories and then men has these and then women only has new and sale. So I'm assuming each team that manages women, men's, or kids have categories that are priorities for them to sell that quarter, but it still doesn't really make sense why they're down here. Would have made a lot more sense if they had all the navigation items at the top. This is cool now, but just to show you an example of a page that's selling something, it would be cool if they had different sections here at the top, just like this page, which is the only page I've found so far to have this, but at least have women's, men's, kids, home makeup at the top, and then as you go through each page, you can start breaking them down by section. Overall, I'm just not a particular fan of their design from a UX perspective. Overall, this website gives me an impression that they have a strong marketing culture with leadership heavily invested in marketing, but not so much on the technology side, especially web or UX. I feel like it's kind of evident for anyone who's visiting the site, and I'm not saying anything new here, but I think eventually this will be phased out because all their competitors are doing something that is a lot more functional. I just don't see how something like this makes sense for them, like trading aesthetics over more profit it doesn't make as much sense. I understand sometimes, you know, you lose a little bit for the aesthetics, but in this case, I feel like they're losing a lot of customers who bounce off right away because they think this is a fashion magazine or they can't find what they're looking for or they're just frustrated with a site. If I was the CEO here, one of the first things I would do is to build a new version of the site and test it out and match the old conversions with the new conversions and see how much of a difference that can make and get rid of the yellow, green, and magenta colors here because they just don't do it for me. Anyways, that was my review. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe and click that bell notification button to get notified when I post new videos. I'll see you all next time. Bye!